In this part of the assignment, we will add a page to the website with forms to add records to each of our four tables. We will create a form to add a new sales office, a new sales agent, a new destination city, and a new sale. So, to get started, log into WordPress. To create a new page, on the left, click on Pages. Click on Add New. Let's call our page Add Data. First, we will add a form to add an office. Let's put a blank ABASE tag after our title and then preview the page to see how it looks. Our blank ABASE tag shows the database connection works and the names of the tables. Now I'll go back to edit the page and let's fill in the rest of the ABASE tag. To see an explanation of the ABASE parameters on the left, click Settings. Then choose the Settings options for the ABASE shortcode. Below the Database Settings explains the attributes and what they are for. This is for your future reference. Going back to editing the ABASE tag in our Add form, click Pages. Then click on the Add Data page. Inside the ABASE tag, we add form equals quote insert comma one quote, which says that this is a complete insert form. The one indicates that this tag is both the start and the end of a form. If it were a two, then it would be the start of a form and the end of the form would come later. If it were a three, then it would indicate the end of the form. This is all documented in the reference section. In this case, we use a one. Next, we add table equals quote office quote to indicate what table we are inserting into. Then we specify which fields that will be elements in our form. So we add elements equals quote location quote. Next we add the columns that will be displayed in our output. This is different than specifying the elements. The columns attribute includes additional formatting information such as a submit button after a form element. We will use that in this case, so we add columns equal quote location dollar sign insert quote as an attribute in our ABASE tag. This says that we will display the location field with a submit button afterwards with the word insert on it. It is the dollar sign that indicates to add the submit button. There are other options available for the columns attribute described in the reference section. We will also add a table style width attribute so our form doesn't end up being stretched across the whole page. Adding style equals quote width colon 300 px for pixels, semicolon, quote, will cap the width of the form at 300 pixels wide. You can experiment with other style attributes by googling HTML CSS table styles. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets and is used in the HTML for formatting web pages. To acknowledge that the insert took place upon submitting, we can indicate we would like an acknowledgement. So we add the attribute ACK equals quote one quote. The echo attribute is there so we can see what our shortcode looks like. We would remove the echo attribute when we have 
everything working and went live. Now that we are done with the form to insert a new office, let's publish the page and test it out to see if it works. This is what the page looks like so far. Now let's look and see what our office table looks like right now. Click on the first database assignment that you've done already. Scroll down and see what and how many records are in the office table. Now go back to your add form. Add an office location, say Honolulu, and click insert. You see that the acknowledge worked and it says Honolulu was added. Now go back to the office table in your first assignment and see that Honolulu was added.